Hello, I'm Entrilisium, and welcome to Blood Bowl 2. This is just a quick video to go over my team roster for the upcoming tournament with Mathis, Quill, 18, and Northern Lion. So, uh, I've gone for Dark Elves because I don't have my Wood Elves available, right? My Wood Elves, we're recording this before the game comes out. The game's coming out, it's got Wood Elves as a pre order bonus, and there's a DLC thing. I, I don't have access to the Wood Elves, so I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna play the Dark Elves. They're evil and slightly more sadistic, uh, masochistic cousins. I feel a bit like I'm betraying the Wood Elves, but, you know, Dark Elves are second best. Now, the advantage of Dark Elves over the Wood Elves is they've got some decent armor. So, this is our lovely little team. Uh, they're all pretty much the same, and they all have roughly the same poses. Um, team roster. Now, just ignore the stats, because I've played a game and forgot to record this before the first game. We've got Painful Peter, Tormented Tom, Agonizing Andy, and Tormented Timothy as our Blitzers. You can only have up to four Blitzers as a... Uh, as a dark elf, but yeah, you're gonna take all four because they're pretty good. Uh, they've got, you know, movement seven, uh, agility four, arm value eight. It's not bad, not bad. Probably not gonna get killed. And they've also got block, which is, you know, pretty much, you know, a, a kind of a, a necessity. Uh, linesmen have got distressing Dan, affliction Anthony, suffering Steve, discomfort Dave, injury Ian, misery Mike, all of whom have movement six, arm value eight. And that they're pretty normal, you know, normal elves. They don't have anything special. In fact, they're just there to really fill out the lineup. And then we've got Sir Bob Von Bobbington with uh, his arm value of seven, movement value of seven as well. And he's also got dump off, which means if he gets tackled, like he can chuck the ball to someone else and be like, you take the ball, go on without me. Um, honestly, the only thing that's really any good about the runner is mostly the fact that he has movement value of seven, which is the same as a blitzer. So honestly, more blitzers uh, would be good. I like my blitzers. Um, there's nothing really great about a runner on a dark elf team. It's not like the Skaven where you've got like the gutter runners who are amazing. Um, the problem is they're a bit expensive. I was tempted to buy a witch elf, I was tempted to buy an assassin, you know, these are cool things, witch elves, assassins, they're, they're the special things in the dark elf lineup, but they both kind of suck. I mean, witch elves aren't terrible, but they're a bit, like, squishier, and, you know, frenzy can also be a liability that they get, the ability frenzy, which means they get to attack twice if the person doesn't go down, but you have to follow them and it means you can go into bad situations. So really, um, they were really expensive as well, I was like, you know what, I can't really afford you. I mean, assassins are cool by the sound of it, they can stab people, but they can also get sent off for stabbing. And they're squishy and don't do anything else. Yeah. I mean, I was tempted to for funsies, but couldn't really afford it. And I needed two rerolls. Because if we go to staff, you'll see that I've got two rerolls. Which I kind of need. Yeah. I need my rerolls. Nothing else particularly special to see about my team. Um, one thing to note about them is that it's kind of important as Dark Elves that you don't like... Because Dark Elves are right, they're kind of a middle-of-the-road team. They're particularly fast, they're particularly agile. They aren't like an attacky team, they can't punch you to death. That's the one thing they can't do. But they can they can take a little bit of a beating, unlike Wood Elves, because they've got, you know, arm value 8 on most of their guys. So that means that they're not probably going to die. Um, so with Wood Elves, you really want to just, you know, keep away from the enemy... Let them try and take you, and when they're trying to take you, which they'll probably fail at because you've got arm value 8, um, you can, like, grab the ball and dive behind the lines and, you know, you're really fast, so you're probably gonna be fine. Um, that's, I think, the tactics. Excruciating Lysians, uh, you know, they're not Wood Elves, but they'll do. I mean, I've got great morale building from a team right now. Uh, I'm up against Mathis first, so that'll be the first match. Anyway, I will catch you very shortly in the first match with Mathis, and let's see how that goes. Until next time, though. Stay shiny.